Hi everybody, Marsh here, how you doing? Uh, today we're gonna be playing West of Loathing, and yeah, let's get into this. Um, alright, so, I want, I want to name myself the Tyro of Nothing, because I think it'd be funny. So, whenever, like, the start of the game is we're, we're on the Pinkerton farm. That's how you spell it. I cannot remember. So, my reward is so far is 1,480 gold. Also, by the way, I'm about to get really country as I do these voices, so do not get mad at me. Also, I am a great. Do you guys like my little sprout? I love my little sprout, so don't get mad at me. Fuck you up. I love you guys. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Ooh, yes, I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Um, snake oiler. Snake oilers rely on their moxie and chutzpah to tame snakes. Their fearlessness to exact potent oils from these snakes and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from these oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days. Also, out west is where the best snakes live. I mean, I can get that, so I'm not even that mad. So, I, I do want to do this, because right now, this is just mm, wads. This weird poster appeared here one night. Was it like a couple of days ago or something? All right. Annie Swift and the mis mystery of the cursed cove. This one's one of my favorites. Cursed of the forbidden barn. I love that one. Louine Bobsey and the mystery of the Cobbett cave. Rufus liked this one much as much as I did. Hey, this one might come in handy to tie an item. Walking stupid. Wait. What? Wait. That wait. Hang on. <laughs> That's how Mark got it? I thought Mark just got it. What? Oh, that's never, that's never turning off. I do not care. That is never, no. That is on. Forever. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> How is that the best font? Comic Sans is the best font. I don't care, okay? Oh. Oh. What? Okay, so I might have been wrong. Hey, Russell, how you doing? Caw! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Caw, caw, caw! I wanna feed him a cricket, just because I can. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He cooes attentionally and nuzzles your hand. Okay, so do I want Russell to come with me, basically come with me, to the to the west or do i just want to leave him here in the cage no that's that's cruel i want him to come with me basically <laughs> you open your bedroom window and unlatch the door to russell's cage he winks at you and calls one last time then flies away to the west time to hit the trail we let her we let her the crow go why not just what is this messing up? Uh, why not just, you know, a little cartwheel everywhere? Just, you know, let's just let him go. It's covered with all his weird diagrams. Oh, yeah, this is my brother's room. I forgot about that. See, it's been a while since I watched Mark's uh, West of Loathing. A 
why is it all German? Can I just... So most of them were German. That's Latin. German. 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 Spanish. How many languages do you need to know to learn about numbers? Boss pie safe. It keeps all their pies safe. Okay. I'm gonna miss mom's cooking. I really am. The tippity taps. No, wait. Back in the house. Tippity tap. No, I didn't. This hearth really puts a hearth in, in hearth and home. Oh. Brain no work. That's how I said it. In the woods. No time to screw around in the woods. Time to head west. Alright. Mom, I'll talk to you in a second. Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, Dad. I'll grow into it. Whatever you say. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this as your grandmother's briefcase full of snakes. Thanks. I didn't understand why we kept this, but thanks, Dad. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mom. I will, Dad. I want a haystack. Yay! Mom! I'm sorry that I just almost kicked you in the face, Mom. Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's the book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... <gasps> the one about picking locks? Oh boy! The one about desert survival? Oh boy! The one about bartering? Oh boy! Uh, I'm actually gonna go the bartering route, because... You know, you can get stuff for lesser than what it actually is. You know. <laughs> That's the one. Enjoy it. Be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will. Bye, Mom. All right, come here, little brother. I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> ah. Your brother, Roof, is just standing there looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Here's the country coming. Great. You hand him the puzzle, and he starts fidgeting with it. Say goodbye. Hey, Roof, it's time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west, anyway? To seek my fortune. My once fortune. <laughs> There's just no opportunity here, kid. If I'm gonna make something out of myself, I gotta go where I can make some money. But it's so dangerous. 60% 60, 60 of the people who go west get killed within a year. And that statistic was from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of Ma and Dad for me. I'll worry about me. Shit. Okay, if you say so. I still think you'll be dead by Grimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You playfully punch him in the arm. Good thing I'm not a cow puncher. I just want to, like, slide. Aw. I was like, I just want to slide everywhere until I get a sore. Go, yes. Go west, young woman. Yes, please. I hit E, and it registered that I hit W. Why? We're going to skip the credits. <laughs> you just skipped a credit sequence where your character rode a turnip cart across... <laughs> <laughs> the Great Plains and into the sleepy town of Warren Springs. Highlights of the trip included director Jack Johnson, Victor Thompson, Kevin Simmons, Riff Connor, Wes 
West Cleveland. Okay, cool. Chris Moyer. Gerard is sure spectacular. But at the same time, I don't got time for that. Turnip! I guess it's drop a turnip. Oh, hey, buddy. I'll tell you when I have enough. Come. Dude, dude. Dude. Board. Yo. I didn't know there was a board right there. Gone drinking. Oops. Well, I'm gonna go talk to the sheriff. Had a stranger. Welcome to Boring Springs. I'm in, I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? <sighs> the sheriff, okay. Last half is gone town. Say, you wouldn't hear me happen to be looking for work, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great. Because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here that calls themselves a frisky gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took him cell to a wooden. It ain't, yeah. Well, it ain't much good without the door. And? And I need somebody tough, smart, or, and or slick to go set you back. Furman. Why don't you go do it? You're the sheriff after all. I gotta stay here and practice my cherry picking. I'll give it a shot, I guess. Funny you should say that. I'm sending the deputy along with you. He get in trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. Deputy pistol. Deputy? You deputized a gun? You new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much here to do except drink. Here, let me write down where the civil gang hideout is for you. If this guy knows all this information, he should just do it himself. Oh, wait. He's a lazy-ass sheriff. Also, he's not a sheriff. He's a sheriff. What? Help wanted, wanted poster artist. Apply in person at the Yams Martial Arts. Yama Martial Arts. I. <laughs> Bimmy Fricker for Faith Stevens. Huh. Wanted bird theft. Naked. What? That don't make no damn sense. No oh, shit. Give me the mug. Oh, the mug. Alright, we're going to the bar. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting on the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey! Where's your hat, Dagnabbit? Well, I can't drink in here without a hat. Tank prop. Points at to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. I guess I'll check out the box. You look through a box and find a battered derby. That looks like something you wear. I would never wear a derby in my life. Never. I don't care. <laughs> Who wears a derby? Oh, son of a bitch. I do. Damn it. I want a 40 gallon hat. You grab the hat and put it on. Thanks, uh, Pete. Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if somewhat twitching, nod. Say, gal. Yeah. You heading west. If you want some company, I'll be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Crazy Pete, what the fuck you been drinking? Nah, seriously, what the hell? I got lock picking yet. That sucks. Well, I think I get lock picking later, so it's fine, really. You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped at the back of the wall reading "Reward for last mug, twenty-five me each." Okay. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name for Kyra. 
What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much, much luck so far. Any work around these parts. Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has one of the pe more peaceful in it than job. It's more of a errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to uh, ra railroad people up by dirt water. Huh? Dirt water? Dirt water? Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned to the ground by the damn cows. Lots of opportunity to there. She pauses for a second, lost in thought. Yep, if I were a young woman, I'd probably head my head that way myself. Huh. I guess probably I hey, honestly, I would too. Sounds pretty good. I don't know. Uh actually I am. You mentioned Aaron? Yeah, this this Forsaken bird is always falling apart one way or another. The hoss is always needing help since he hurt his leg. And that no account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Damn. <laughs> we'll have got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cow pokes in, the, in from the gulch and wipe his boots off. He's got spores everywhere. Damn. I can probably handle a goblin. Much black. I'll unlock the basement for you. Oh, and you'll need this weak fungi. I'll take care of it. Hello. Howdy, I'm Lakira. Howdy, Lakira. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. Uh, how's that working out for you? Oh, these horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming? Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold a one in ages. Oh. Is that why he's drinking instead? Yep. And me being here drinking instead of washing the horses probably had to keep it sexy. It's one of those vicious cycle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse if you have any left. One. Kind of born one. It's got four legs and back to sit on. Come see me at the stable and I'll, show, I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Hi. Right. Oh, damn. I found this mug. Much obliged. I got 25 meat. Grab my meat. Who's allowed to drink a whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's a rancher from nearby. Real tough broad. Ain't working any past year. Why is that? Lost her whole family in a cow attack recently. Got some pent up frustrations about it. Ouch. Damn, poor lady. Oh my god, Pete. Pete, are you okay? Bye, Pete. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yay! It's a spittoon. People spit in it, you know, without even looking in it. It's absolutely disgusting. I want to look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting, and the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You're now on your hands and knees peering into a felt encrusted spittoon. I don't. I don't understand what's wrong with you. Wait, is this something shiny at the bottom? Oh my god, we're getting it. I'm a crow. Baka. You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the, the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit, the vomit trough of a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Nah, never motherfucking surrender. You plunge your hand in the awful soup. It makes the sound like gulp. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Touch it. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's terrain slowly, not daring to take a risk splashing the contents all over yourself. 
you appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably, probably some kind of degree as well. Congratulations. Thank you. I really wanted that. You told me something shiny was at the bottom of that splatoon, and I got it. Thank you. Got a nasty little bet, bro. Hooray! I take it. I'll take it. What, is, what does the grassy ring do? Oh! One muscle, one Mr. Pat, and then it'll be... When one moxie. I have no stomach, though. Yeah, I'm turnip fuel. Oh, forgot about my new meat. I love dickery. Yay. <laughs> you already plummeted the depths of the spittoon, your own depravity. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sorry. Really, I was trying to look at this guy, honestly. He's just a snoring away. No, shit. Crazy Pete's not okay. Oh, shit. Quite literally, shit. Step right up, step right up. Bart's a name, Trace a game. He seems to be down to some of his bars. Howdy. Trading. Well, madam, today I'm trading locks with soap and stick a dime out for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to the adventure soul, I will trade with five silver pot flies. Huh, okay. How about some free dime? Madam, I must admit, you drive a hard bargain, but I find your terms acceptable. Huh. Thanks. No trade right now. Bye-bye. But I won't go in. It says close, but... I want to bother you. What the fuck? Hey, excuse me? You approach the weird cactus man hybrid who smiles at you. Howdy, cactus man. How do you sell? And the name's Bill, Cactus Bill. What happened to you, Bill? Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Addis warned me this would happen and I didn't listen. And is that why they call you Cactus Bill? No, that's just coincidence. Oh, does it hurt? Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. Your natural fermentation process without the cactus part of me keeps me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it's the mite barn. Yeah, I bet. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper or anything, do you? No, sorry. Well, if you have a fine one, keep me in mind. Will do, Bill. New Topeka. Nope, you're not allowed in Topeka anymore, remember? Damn, why Why Topeka? What did I do to Topeka? You good, bro. Can I take your hat? <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, so. I got a thing of dynamite. Nice. Alright, so I will do this, though. That's not what I mean. I will just go on ahead and go to the Fricker Gang. I will skate on past these motherfuckers. Oh, do I have my fortune yet? No, I don't. And I will steal all of their crap. There was a mug in that. That is so cool. Mug. Approach him and talk. Oh, yeah. How are you? How'd you get past the and Sophie? What do you want? 
is Bimmy. Bimmy, you ain't Bimmy. I so I I am so Bimmy. I stole some rich face. Nah, you always had a knack for some face rustling. What's new, Bimmy? You gotta get out of here fast. The Pinkertons are on to us. I am a Pinkerton. <laughs> Pinkerton. <laughs> does, wait, does that have some kind of like bad, like side effect now that my last name is Pinkerton? Oh shit. The Pinkerton's on to us. They'll be here in any minute. Dag nip. Come on, snap, let's high tail. I'll catch up. Yeehaw, I got a glamour effect. Yay! <laughs> let's grab the door and skedaddle. Oh, and this fucking mug. Give me the mug. Okay, I love how I can't press E for, like, none of me. I'm going past this guy, though. Alright, let's go back to the town of Orange Springs. Let's go. I rolled in straight. Nope. I. Damn it. I see the freaking grain has put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my door set? My cell door? Mother. He hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got four times more secure. Hear any freaking gangs rushing me to round up? Yeah, one or two, they're asleep on the job. I'll go around to my shoulder now. Looks like I owe you a reward. He proceeds to hand you a big bag of meat. 400 meat, nice. 400 meat for a cell door and two guys, nice. Got another little task for you if you, got, if you got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Well, the Frickins broke, busted the lock and they took the door. Gonna need a new lock. I'll keep an eye out. Well, the trader wanted soap for a lock, so I guess I can give him the soap. Patty. Give him the soap for a lock. Alright, no trades anymore. Thank you, bye. I'm keeping this freaking, uh. Patty. You managed to square me, scare me out the lock for myself. Yep, got one right here. That'll be nice. The sheriff, the sheriff pull, puts the lock on the cell door and then accidentally drops the key and it clatters into the cell. Hellfire. Don't suppose you know how to pick the locks, Jenny. Got a needle handy. I'll see what I can do. Well, maybe I should have taken the book. Oh, no, I can do it. Be the fiddly. Pick the lock. Unlock your cell for you. The sheriff walks into the cell, picks up the key, looks around for a place to hide it, and then eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you, kindly stranger. If Warren Springs ever gets any more criminals, they better watch out. That's a good job you're doing. Don't mention it. Here, have the book souvenir for your for, for your time in Warren Springs. Replica sheriff badge. Thanks, sheriff. That's all I get. 400 meat and a replica sheriff badge. Thanks, buddy. Let's see what we got. What does that one do? It gives me plus one armor, forty-five damage, plus one natural, physical damage. Hey, not gonna lie, the whole uh the bummy thing, the bimmy bummy bim. Uh. Family's money. Look back. Fit to me. Thank you. So I got 475 now. Oh, I thought I was gonna take my leave already. Oh shit! No, I I forgot. I was stealing from the Frickerton. The pin the Pinkerton was stealing from the Frickerton. That is funny. All right, let's go. 
the horse. Yeah. Calm down, horses. That's a new man. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. I'll tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. I'm a horse thief on our way. Well, except for this completely ordinary one. That's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you, please. I'll go fetch him myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat for each one you can find in them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They're pretty much always around the same places. Orho Mine, Boring Springs Boneyard, a Thousand Snakes Gulch. Hey, I should probably go to Thousand Snakes Gulch so I can fill up my briefcase. If I can even fill up my briefcase. Why these places? I think they lack environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, feed them these oats. You should they that you send them back here. Bag of homing oats. How does that work? They're special pigeon infused oats. Okay, I'll see you later. Alright, so I know where I'm going. Shit, I stepped into them. Huh, okay. That's literally all to do. We're gonna go to Thousand Snakes Gulch first. Shit. Let's attack him. Hit for one HP. Thank you. And I hit you for eight. Nice. Oh! You have slain a snake before they before long they call you a snake murder in Lakaira. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeehaw, skill up max to level two. You collect one venom and one medicine. Yay! We're just gonna keep on attacking. Oh damn, he's poisoned too. Mm, he's peaceful. Nine HP, shit. Ooh, I got him for ten that time. Nice. You made short work of that. Long stank progress towards. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> this snakes look really. This snake looks really angry. You're gonna need to every trick in the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. No oh, shit, that quick. So I want to do the dynamite real quick. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Killed that guy so fast. Nice work, the whole cowgirl thing doesn't work out. You could always get a job as a snake terminator. Exterminator. Exterminator, sorry. You collect two venom and two medicine. Yup. Oh, hello. This horse is gone. Snake crazy. Maybe he's just seen some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, fella. I'm a friend, okay? No! It's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Winnie. You a fat guy. Pat him on the nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize you aren't gonna eat his eyes out or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull cave. That's a good boy. <laughs> look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare and the other is revolving mad madly in its socket like it's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now. It's clear to you you, ain't, you aren't actually need it made of spiders though. Alright, I'm gonna feed him the oats. You hungry boy? I've got a little treat for you. <laughs> you feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats and it gallops away with a whinny. 
or rather, a worm. <laughs> Hopefully he's headed home and not into the 12th dimension. If you can go into the 12th dimension, tell me now. Any more snakes that I can find? Oh, window she No. No, no, no. Shiny. I saw shiny. Shiny rock. Anything else? I just completely missed. No? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go to Boring Springs Great Boneyard. This grave is really annoying to me. A skeleton, you're not getting past without a scuffle. Scuffle Haha! <laughs> I hit him for 11 points. Nice. And the skeleton collapsed into a pile of loose bones. Dang, I didn't get anything. Oh, hello! <laughs> Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. Oh god, I got the hiccups. Dang, the hiccups hurt. Okay, that was weird. What? You poach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously, so as to not startle her. Though you quickly re come to realization that this is not a horse that stutters easily. Hello there. Hi. I'm a friend, okay? No. That's a little strange. How did you do that without opening your mouth? I want to pat her on the nose. Pat her on the, the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you're going to ride her, you... Want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat, 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 have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Ugh. Please don't look at me like that. <laughs> Try the oats again. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make to make oats spooky. Yeah, I guess if you put some bone meal on them. I don't know how they need to be hanging with down the bones with right there. Is that a yes? We. Oui. Okay. You sprinkle the oats with a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse grazes ex expressionally at them and eats them. No. With that, she glides away to the direction of. That's bizarre. As I was hitting the freaking bug, it glit it looked like it glitched a little bit. Anything around here? Ooh, can't see. Can't get past the rubble.
My needles shit. Okay. I'll get the I'll get the dark horse in a minute. Let me Let me go to the hosser real quick and get some needles. Well, let me get my meat too. Anytime. Thanks for bringing back my crazy horse. He was probably eating local the weekend, wasn't he? Crazy Pete. Not that I noticed. That's me, man. What's up? Okay. Uh, just browsing things. No, wait. Shit. Fuck them. Ball sack. Bill. Wish obliged, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do in return it the favor? Oh, I know. My shovel. I left it behind the outhouse or her mine. It's yours if you can go get it. I'm sure you find you use for it. I mean, maybe. Also, my moxie went up went up again. Thank you. Behind the outhouse or her mine. Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Now if you just can't if you could just Kinda stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. <laughs> it kinda looks like he's holding it too. That's so funny. Shit, I slid my face right into that paper. Oh, how'd you know my last name? I saw the grave in the cemetery. Sorry, friend. I, I saw it happen. I saw the whole damn thing. I saw the whole damn thing. Oh, Isakini, of course. I didn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it were cows. Cows, right? I don't know what those things were, things are, but they ain't cows anymore. What happened? It was a raid. See, Mom and Pa used to be used to ranch cattle back before before they became before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead, and she left me the place, and she passed. Gone. Well, I guess a passing herd since that that used to be a cow ranch and attacked a couple of days ago. Happened so fast, I didn't even have time to take my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed the front door. The fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up to blazes, just like that. What did you do? I. There wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs with the kids because the fire, and I saw Tim trampled right. In, saw Tim trampled right out in front of me. I just. I ain't want to talk about it anymore. Sorry. She refills her mug with the bottle on the bar doesn't reply what was what will you do now head west i suppose nothing keeping me here and no, de and no desire to stay i ain't leave without my rifle though why's that it's my ma's rifle that's all i got left her anybody where is it left that in the ranch then like a damn fool listen can i ask you a favor i need someone to go get it for me yeah i'll go get it Nice. I'm gonna take my leave. I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna deal with it. set me on fire what this thing just set me on fire 
Well, guess what? I punched it in the face. I didn't punch it. I shot it in the face. I'm cool with that. He defeated the nasty cow skull floating in the cloud of fire. Good. These pies were not safe. Ooh, varmint skin and knife. Nice. The outhouse is the only thing left standing. Oh, what did that do? Hang on, what? Most is scary. Oh, hello. Oh. Got five plus my maximum HP. That is awesome. All the water in this trough is boiled away. Dang, there's probably like a bunch of like boiled chunks. Okay, let me try Oracle Mine again. Oh, did I already get that? Yeah, I did. Okay. I got the skill. Let me get. I, I did go grab some, uh, yeah, I did, okay, cool. Yeah, I got a silver one, awesome. Okay, there's a glass and cat, and I need to find it. Oh, shit. I hit one by accident. I accidentally hit one by accident. That's my bad. Present! Oh, I didn't. I thought I was already. I thought it was already on there. Hello. Ooh, meat ore. Got a silver nugget. Nice. Holy crap. Hey there, girl. It's okay. I'm a friend. The horse shies away from you, though. In this case, it's more like... Cryptically invertly invertly inverts away from you. I will reassure you. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought you some oats. They ain't poison or anything. In retrospect, I guess that wasn't very comforting to say. Cat. You reach out to pat her nose, but the horse ducks and steps further back into the shadows. Oh, come on. Take a handful of the oats out of the bag and hold them out to the horse. Here you go. Yum yum. <coughs> she slides away from you warily. Makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding her um, shadow. Come on, please. Look, they're fine. Okay, see. You take a handful of the bag and toss them in the mouth. Ooh. It's like the roughest, blandest, breakfast cereal you have ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food, dumbass. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, he's got power. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See? Perfectly fine. The horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly as you pat her on the nose, but she doesn't actually flee. So that's something. There's a good girl. Mm -hmm. Feed it up. Well, the horse finally seems relaxed enough around you that you offer a handful of the oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she just she gestures that something behind you turn around to look. But don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Well, okay then. Oh, 
wait, so there's probably meat only. Oh, that's cool. Yay! Alright, let's go back to Born Springs. Sure thing. find my rifle yet stranger yep here she is Susie's eyes well up with tears as he hand her the rifle and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before any of them spill over thanks stranger I didn't even correct your name I'm Lakira thanks Lakira I didn't rightly say this what this means to me I can't rightly say what this means to me she looks at the rifle for a long moment and looks back up to you she sighs well, that's enough while we're in misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along with you, if it when you head west, you just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. <laughs> you said something early about an injury? Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how, it's embarrassing. I was gonna get Doc Alice to look at it, but she gave up Doc. Why'd she do that? Nobody knows she just shut herself up in her office says she wouldn't talk to anybody except Nurse Whiskey. Is that actually a nurse or... I'm pretty sure she's being sarcastic. I see. Whiskey f delivery for you, Doc. Nurse Whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe. Doesn't know she needs house call. Alright, hold on. You hear a rattle as she unlocks the door. Doc Alice looks like she's about in her 50s. Her hair is gray and her, hair, her face is lined. But her eyes are still clear and sharp as bloodshot. She holds out her hand. Whiskey. Stand. I give it to you. She cracks open the whiskey and fi fills a small flask. She takes out of her pocket and puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out the bottle. Jeez, Doc. That don't seem healthy. I mean, she's probably in depression, so, like, you can't really yell at her, man. Who's the doctor here? Me or you? <laughs> okay, point taken. The stove is spotless. Either she really is compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Sure, if you want to. Not that they're going to do you much good, Miss Doom, forsaken hell ho. You should try to be more cheerful, Doc. The goblin shouts, I'm Gary. Uh, hi, Gary. Hi. Hi, hello. Hello, I'm Gary. Who are you? Um. Well, I'm Lakira. Hello, hello, Lakira. Nice to meet you. What are Lakira doing down here? Um. Oh, Lakira, what is it? Oh, you know, just around oh hey ho gary likes to looking too gary now looking for a way out of his dump gary not having much luck though where are you trying to go gary highway highway and far away for popping popping in the new gary everywhere 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 settle down gary gary doesn't like the settling 
Gary like the trail went and popping. If the guy going far up and high away, maybe taking Gary with you. Hey, hey. I'll think about it. So I think I'm done with the town. We got, we got Gary. We got Nurse Anne. And by the elf. Afternoon, man. What can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? <laughs> I'll take the shafty looking dark one. <laughs> yes. Good choice. She's a snaky one. I'll sell, you, I'll, sell, I'll sell her for you for a thousand me. When you say sneaky, she's real quiet and she likes dark places. Yeah, I remember. I'll, great, I'll take her. Here's the keys, ride safe. Oh, give her a name! Hmm. Hmm. What should we name the horse? You want to name her Smokey? Are you sure you want to name your horse Smokey? Yes. All right then, Smokey the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. All right. Oh, and I almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. You got an item. Southeast West map. What? Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished finished, any unfinished business you've got will remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to leave? I think I got everything. Yeah, I think I got everything. All right then, you you're properly horse and ready to to start your new life in the West. All you need now is a partner. Somebody to share the trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take with you? Crazy Pete? Susan Co uh, Cochran? Gary the Goblin? Go it alone. I think I want to go with Susie. Susie Cochran? Yeah, I'm going to go with Susie. You pop back in the saloon and collect Susie. Hit the trail. Oh, one last thing before you go. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points, XP, for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise you to give you a nice go around in experience. Shall I keep it up, or would you rather prefer, prefer to decide for yourself where your XP gets spent? You can always change this later in the options. I would like to spend it automatically. Oh, no, wait. No, I want to spend it manually. Not automatically. Manually. Wow. You now have the option of returning yourself into some kind of unbalanced weirdo if you want. Open your character's screen when you want to spend XP. Awesome. You can sell the southeast map. Southeast west map. The hostel gave you and only this two things. The town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. Westmost camp. You discover a new map location. Dirt water and manifest destiny camp. All right, that's dirt water. What's up, buddy? Hey there, Susie. I like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts. See how bad the co cow techs are getting. All right. Do you know some? Not in great detail, but I know a few. Roughly where a few are, or at least where. I guess we'll have to see. Where. Or at least were. Guess we'll have to see it. Have have it see. There's one not from here. Stern's Ranch. Oh, Stern's Ranch. Uh. What do you think we should do next? Hmm. Well, if you're looking to get a move on westward, I reckon the train's the way to go. Didn't that map have 
the house that gave you have a marker for the uh, railroad camp or other. Might be worth checking out. Good idea. Okay. I'm gonna go get the rent. Check. We're had it there. Always nice to meet a new face in town. Welcome to the Juice Lum. Hi, thanks. I'm Lakara. Glad to, glad to know you, Lakara. Folks around here call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Saw a room out front advertising a room. That's right. Finest room in the house. A plan of room for you and your partner. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you and Luck, the previous tenant, was a banker fella. And he paid a month in advance, right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort, so the room's yours, so if you want, great. If you want it, great. Why not great? Hello. What if I just walk in you? Just over and over again. Oh, hey Lloyd, sorry. This is Spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit in. This is Spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is an option in society, I guess. I say this, I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with Spittoons already. Sicko. Look, the Jill's Saloon is a pretty nice as saloons go. Actual glass in the windows, more of two kinds of drink, a poker room instead of a cockfitting pit. Cockfighting pit. Shit, I said cockfitting. Cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside it isn't fancy rancid t t tobacco spit. I want to inspect it. Leave me alone. Here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. 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 So that's good, right? No, that's bad because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass, bu this brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and the filth that do not, that don't evaporate. Year, several years worth distilled and cons, distilled and concentrated until it's the cons consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You said there was shiny shit in the last one. I want more. You're about to put your hand in the bucket of something the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Except it isn't. Instead. Except instead of maple, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yes, I want shiny things. Gulp. It feels like putting your hand inside a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. Except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is dissolving. I want to keep searching. You find something. You find a tacky fit. Tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will ha that will make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. Hooray! I love it! Is that better than, 
Oh, I get two things! Yay, what do what does he do? Three melee attack and three spell damage. I don't do spells. Insult yourself. Insult yourself again. I can't go up to the spittoon. Alright, so that's where I'm going to leave this episode today. Uh, we do have a thing to do for the, the kitchen. I didn't talk that one out because I already knew that was going to happen. Uh, so we have Stern's Ranch. Oh, Lord. I forget how freaking long this is. How big this map is. Uh, and then we have Fort Cowardice. So, I'm gonna go probably go to Stern's Ranch the next time I do this. So, be ready for that. Um, thank you guys for coming along with me on this. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video.